everybody. How y'all doing this evening? Ooh, I hear you now. Go ahead. Move your hats, please. If you don't mind, we open up with a word of prayer. Gracious Heavenly Father, Lord, we come before you humble as we know how, realizing that you are God, you are deity, the one who hung the stars out on nothing, but yet cared enough for us that you loved us above all things. We thank you for your Son who died on the cross for our salvation and was resurrected, that we may be resurrected with him. We pray, Father, that you'd be with each one here, each family here. We thank you for everyone that's represented here today. We pray that you'd be with us now, that we would glorify you in all that we do. In Jesus' name, we humbly pray. And everyone said, Amen. 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 It's quite an honor for me to be here um, to introduce this gentleman. His call sign to us is R&R 711. And if you wonder what that means, is he's not much to look at, but he's like a restaurant, a restroom at the 7-Eleven. You run with him in urgency when you're in a tight. So he'll do. But no, in all honesty, though, he's a man of great honor, in my opinion. But the thing I like about him the most is that he believes in complete transparency. You don't have to wonder what's going on, when it's going on, or how it's going on, because he believes in transparency. And that's what we need in every aspect of leadership and representation in all that we do. And I mean, I'm telling you, if you know anything about politics, we need transparency. But it's my honor to introduce to y'all tonight our candidate, and what I believe will be our next commissioner, Mr. Brandon Bagwell. How y'all doing? Y'all uh, have to bear with me because I had to write all this down to memorize. I did not get it all memorized. I want to thank, thank you all for allowing me to speak and please let me take a few moments of your time to introduce myself. Uh, first, I'd like to thank God, my family, friends, and single guests, and every one of you that are attending today, we are all a community family. My name is Brandon Bagwell and I am running for Houston County District 3 Commissioner. I have been a resident of Houston County for 40 years and Houston County is where I call home. I was born in 1981 at home by a midwife because my mother right there did not seem that she needed to go to the hospital, so I was born in the old fashioned way. And I attended Roman High School along with Wallace Community College. Uh, I finished Wallace Community College with a degree in political science and a certificate in emergency medical services. Then over, through, over the years, even while deployed, I was able to attend Liberty University with a bachelor's in public administration and public safety with a minor in biblical studies. To where I'm currently studying now for my master's in public administration, I'm currently a student right now with Desert Leadership Class 1. I chose to serve our country at a young age and joined the Armed Forces of the United States Army and became a paratrooper. After 9-11, I was deployed in defense of our great nation and was part of the initial push in Afghanistan in November 2001 during Operation Noble Eagle. I served through several deployments and campaigns from Iraq, Afghanistan, Africa, and some more, and was able to explore many different operational specialties and schools. I've led troops and overseen many high-level operations. Those operations went on to be explained and covered by several different media outlets here in uh, Houston County when I did a homecoming for my son. Uh, you can look that up at um, Brandon Battle with Northside Methodist, and they have that whole bio. And during my time in the Armed Forces, I had a break in service where I joined the Alabama National Guard 20 Special Forces Group Airborne. Me. Yes. Uh, during that time is where I started my law enforcement career by attending the Montgomery Police Academy, one of the state's most academic police academies. I'm still working in my profession today, serving the public as a peace officer, to where I have worked in many different areas and specialties, from being a patrol officer, canine officer, investigator, SWAT operator, field training officer, to include additional duties like honor guard, project lifesaver, dive team, Alabama law enforcement lines, repair support, just name a few. I tried to stay close to my roots. In 1996, I joined the Taylor Volunteer Fire Department when we were allowed to do that in high school with students. And uh, when I come back, I'm still a member of the Taylor Volunteer Fire Department. I routinely answer calls with them on the fire truck. And I also still serve with Rehoboth Rescue as well as Whitsburg Volunteer Fire and Rescue, both as an EMT volunteer firefighter and as a rescue driver. So yes, I enjoy my time, and I do believe it's been a calling for me to be in public service. I attend, faithfully attend St. Columbus Catholic Church here and I'm the Director of Community Service and Public Relations with Knights of Columbus there. I have a passion for servitude and helping veterans. I'm currently the commander here at the BFW Post 37-3 and have been appointed as District 7 Chief of Staff along as Veteran Service Officer. I believe it's important to be from the community and to be someone who works on the ground floor for, for the citizens. There are several reasons as to why I want to run, but let me give you a little more history of who I am first. 
I believe you must be a leader that knows how to navigate some of the times we are going through today. I have the passion, the fortitude, and never back down attitude to get things done. I am a physical conservative and I want to share something that I've learned in the military that still rings true to me today more than ever. In the armed forces, we have a saying that the backbone of our military is the troops, and I agree with that. I've been in law enforcement and first responder field for a long time, and to speak as a first responder, I'll say the backbone of any agency is the workers. To me, that goes in the community. I do firmly believe that the backbone of any community is the citizens inside that community, and I think some people forget that along the way. I'm committed to the growth and vitality of this county and my district and its communities, which are the heart of this belief that we must all work together. I believe the more a local commission can provide in the way of transparency, the more it increases trust, honesty, and integrity in its leaders. Integrity is inherently connected with trust. When citizens feel that their county commissioners are working hard to earn their trust, it builds confidence in their citizens. It builds confidence in the citizens' view of that commission. Being proactive in transparency and accountability speaks volumes. When citizens have questions, they need a place to get answers. We the citizens expect details on how our commissioners made their decisions. Local commissions that initiate processes to provide the information that matters most to citizens prove that counties have their citizens' best interests at heart. And that's what I'm about. County commissioners with integrity are ever mindful of the fact that money they spend on their communities comes directly from you, the citizen, through tax dollars, and the commission exists to serve them. Having access to these funds also means that citizens have the right to know how their local officials intend to allocate those funds. Good governance entails keeping the best interests of the citizens at the forefront of decision-making for the community. In a sense, it is the citizen that acts as overseer for the county commissioners and staff. The role of county commissioner to me is straightforward. It is a balancing budget and setting an example of physical responsibility. It is creating an environment where our businesses community can thrive because the government does not create jobs, people create jobs. It is developing strong lines of communication from government to government, from the government to business, and from the government to community. Open and active lines of communications are the only way that our community needs and how we can meet those needs. It is to listen. Fresh ideas and fresh perspectives should always be welcome, and I welcome each and every one of them. Remember, I'm running for District 3, but I'm also here for all of Houston County. Business, community, public safety, transparency, and accountability. Again, thank you for all your support in coming out today. And remember to elect Brandon Bagel, East County Commissioner, of District 3. And all donations are appreciated. <laughs> Please come talk to me. I'll answer anything I can. Thank you.